Hello guys, in this video we are going to look at some examples of how to use the theorem the angle at the center of a circle is two times the angle at the circumference. Write in all the diagrams O is the center of the circle. Note that all the diagrams are not drawn to scale. So let's look at our first example. At the center of the circle, we have angle ROQ, which is 123 degrees, and at the circumference is angle X. Both angles are coming from the chord RQ. Angle X must be half of 123, which is 62.5. Example 2. We have three angles, angle O, which is marked X at the center of the circle, angle A and angle B. All the three angles are coming from the arc DC. Now we know the size of angle A at the circumference of the circle. This angle must be half of angle X. Angle X must be 2 times 28 degrees, which is 56 degrees. Now let's move on to angle B, which is marked Y. The angle at the center, which is 56 degrees, should be 2 times angle Y. That means angle Y is half of 56 degrees, which is 28 degrees. Now, task three, we have the angle at the center is 164 degrees. It should be two times X. That means X is half of 164, which is 82 degrees. Now, angle Y at the point O at the center, angle Y plus 164 must be 360 degrees. So y is equal to 360 degrees minus 164 degrees, which is 196 degrees. Lastly, angle z. Now we know the size of angle y at the center of the circle which is 196 degrees and at the circumference is angle Z. That means Z is equal to half of 196 degrees, which is 98 degrees. We are sure that Z is equal to 98 degrees because this is a cyclic quadrilateral. Angle X plus angle Z must be 180 degrees. We know that opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. X is equal to 82 degrees plus 98 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Perfect. Angle Z is equal to 98 degrees. Now, this one is a bit uh, tricky. We want the value of y at the circumference of the circle. Now, we need to find this angle first at the center, which is 360 minus 170 degrees. That is 190 degrees. 190 is the angle at the center. Both angles are coming from this arc rp so y should be half of 190 degrees that is 95 degrees so y is equal to 95. next we want to find angle x now this angle marked 20 degrees at the circumference of the circle is half of angle x which is at the center of the circle. That means 
angle X should be equal to 2 times 20 degrees, which is 40 degrees. That means angle ROQ is 40 degrees. Right, in the last task, we want to find the value of the angles marked R, P, and Q. Let's start with angle R. Angle R is equal to 90 degrees. This is because it's an angle that is in a semicircle. This angle is subtended by a diameter. Any angle that is subtended by the diameter is 90 degrees. Otherwise, we need to find this angle first at the center, which is 180 degrees. That means angle R is half of 180 degrees, which is 90 degrees. Now for angle P and Q, angle P is at the circumference of the circle. We have an angle marked 130 degrees at the center of the circle. Both angles are coming from this arc RQ. Angle P must be half of 130 degrees. We know that the angle at the center is two times the angle at the circumference. So P is equal to 65 degrees. Now angle Q must be equal to angle P. We know that this length is a radius. Here is another radius. That means this triangle is an isosceles triangle. So P and Q are base angles of an isosceles triangle. Base angles of an isosceles triangle are always equal. That means Q is equal to 65 degrees. Thanks for watching.